All right, y'all, I have one more video from the long shot movie that the Lord um, brought back to me that I forgot to write down. Um, Holy Spirit, have your way. Ooh, shit. Thank you, Jesus. Um, okay. Um, okay, so in the movie, y'all, if you watch the movie, spoiler alert, I'm sorry, watch it on your own time if you get a chance or if you feel led. Um, but the girl, so Ice Cube was Kiki Palmer's uncle. And her um, father had walked out of her life. And he was gone for about five years. Um, oh, Jesus. So many people are going to be able to resonate with this. Um, and he walked out of her life, right? So her mom was a single mom. And Curtis uh, Ice Cube was her uncle. Um, and he stepped in and, and was babysitting her while the uh, mom was working extra hours. And in that, they developed a relationship. And that's how she got into playing football, okay? Um, but you know, he was with her. He was well, helping, was her. with her. He yeah. was helping her prepare. He was helping her practice. He was helping her, you know, um, develop her talent and her gift in football. And, um, he went through, you know, like the ups and downs and that. And, you know, even, uh, even a part of it when she was like, um, when is it going to be my turn? Because she got on the team, but the, the coach still wouldn't put her in the games. He still wouldn't like put her into the practices. And she was like, well, when is it going to be my turn? And it's so funny. The time that the coach called her, she was scrambling to get ready. And uh, that's a word in itself. That's a word in itself. That's a word in itself. She was scrambling to get ready, right? And the uh, her uncle was already telling her, it's going to be your time. It's going to be your time. It's going to be your time. So when it finally came, unexpectedly, she was caught off guard and she wasn't ready. So that's for somebody right there. Make sure you're ready. The Lord has been telling you this, that this man is coming. The Lord has been telling you that this woman is coming. Are you ready? The Lord has been speaking to you instructions. The Lord has been giving you things to do um, uh, when, when this to do before and when this marriage comes together. And is it going to catch you by surprise? Come on, the brides, bridesmaids. Do you have enough oil? Come on. Come on. Or is it going to cut you by surprise? You should be ready. The Lord has been speaking to you that this thing is happening now. You should be ready. Y'all, this is going to turn into a different word. But um, back to what the Holy Spirit was telling me. So um, he went through the ups and downs with her, right? He went through the, the, the no's, the rejections with her, with um, uh, getting on the team and all that, right? So then when she finally starts playing and she finally starts winning and they're getting attention on the news and the city and the town, that's when the father comes back, right? The father comes back. And she's so excited. She's so excited to have her father back. And she's just she's just elated, right? Oh, shit. Then it comes to the final Super Bowl game, right? The father promised he was going to be at the game. He doesn't show up. He doesn't show up, right? And it's messing with her because she's looking for him. She's watching the stands, trying to see if he's coming. So she's not playing her best, right? Okay, they lose the game. They go back home. And the dad shows up while the, every, the town is cheering on the team for just at least trying and making it out there, right? And he comes back. Oh, yeah, come on. I want to take you out to celebrate. And by this time, she's already seen who was already present there with her. She's seen she had her mom there the whole time. She had her uncle there the whole time. And she didn't allow herself to go through that heartbreak again with her father letting her down. So I explain all that to say the Holy Spirit has been saying there are going to be people that are going to try to come back. There are people who already see the manifestations that God. There are people who in your past, your children's past, who see the manifestations that God has over your life. Either they see it in the spiritual realm or they already see it manifesting physically. And they're going to try to come back. And God is saying to test the spirit and take it back to him. Because they're trying to come back for the wrong reasons. They're trying to come back for the, 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 the glory of it all. But they weren't there in the mud with you. This goes, this was so specific because that was her father. Some of you have children and your father and their fathers have walked out of their lives. Some of you have children and their mothers have walked out of their lives. And once they see the glory of the of glory of God over your life and the blessings that God is about to rain down on you and over your children for your suffering, they're going to try to come back. They're going to try to make their way back in. Oh, I want to be in my child's life. Oh, I want to be in my daughter's life. Oh, I want to be in my son's life. 
And the Holy Spirit is saying, bring that back to him because he did not, because he did not send them. A lot of these people, God has already given you instructions on them. A lot of your, 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 your children's fathers and mothers and, and aunties and uncles, the Lord has already told you that they, they, they can't come back to cut that tie. To cut the, oh shit, this is real. This is real. Some of y'all, the Lord has already told you to, to yeah, no, no, no. Mm -mm. He can't come back in her life. She can't come back in his life. Auntie, uncle, them, old family friend, old neighbor from down the street, they can't come back. The Lord has already given you instructions. And when they come, it's going to be so deceptive. Okay? It's going to be so. They're going to, they, it's like the enemy, it's the enemy operating through them, right? They're going to slither in and they're looking for an open door. They're looking for an open door. They're looking for an open door. And the and Lord has sent me to warn you that if you open that door, you are going to get bit. You are going to get bit. There's nothing good coming out of you opening that door. Their intentions are not pure. Their motives are not pure. They're not people who who abandoned oh shit people who neglected and abandoned you while you were in the mud while you were down and out while you were in the valley are going to try to start coming in as they see the manifestation of god over your life and majority of them god has already spoke to you about close the door and keep it shut close the door and keep it shut this is a warning. Some of you, they've already done started. And you are wondering, Lord, what do I do? Should I should I let them back in? Holy Spirit is saying, no. He's told you about them already. He didn't change his mind. You know, forgive. Be loving, graceful. But shut that door. Don't hold any bitterness in your heart. Forgive. Let it go. But shut the door. For you who who, who have children and, and it's the, 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 the other parent, you know, who's walked out of your children's life. There is no hard feelings. There is no bad blood. God is sending you. Ugh. I pray y'all are able to receive it. God is sending you their father, their mother through covenant. Don't get so caught up in the blood. Don't get so caught up in the biology. God is sending you their ordain. Oh, come on. They're not just your ordained spouse. They're their ordained father. They're their ordained mother. Come on. This is a covenant. This is legal. <sighs> Come on. Even a biological father. If he is not on the birth certificate, it's not legal. It's not legal. He has no rights. If he is not on the birth certificate, he has no rights. Hey, shit. Oh, shit. <sighs> for somebody this is for somebody okay heal from that close the door come on moses come on moses come on moses don't get caught up in the biology oh well they're, they're, this is their father this is their mother they're supposed to be come on <sighs> Moses' parents, biological parents, was purpose was to birth him. Pharaoh raised him. Okay? Come on. What if I told you maybe their parent, their other parents' main only purpose, sole purpose was to get that baby into the world with you? What if their main purpose was to get that baby, just to get that baby in the world? And God said, okay. Now that's that that's done. Now let me go ahead and send you their ordained father and mother. Oh Jesus. Come on, your heart has to be open to receive it. You have to be you have to be open to receive it. Cause so many, so many, so many women and, and men are bitter. You know, as, as it, I'm not going to say you're wrong for that. You gotta go through your healing phases, your phases of forgiveness. Because it's not it's not okay. All right. But what if I who what if I told you that was the will? What if I told you that was the will? What if I told you, Moses, that your mother had to birth you so somebody else can raise you? What if I told you that was the will? And who am I to fight with the creator and tell him he shouldn't have created me this way? Who am I to fight with the writer and tell oh, that baby is singing her heart out? 
Who am I to fight with the writer and tell him he shouldn't have written my story this way? Ugh. Who am I? Who am I? Yeah, I know, Mama. I know, Papa. It's hard. It's a hard pill to swallow. Especially when you just want... Mm. Yeah. You just... Ugh. But you're not this and you're not... Mm -mm. It wasn't their purpose to be that. It wasn't their purpose to be that. Their purpose was to help get you, get them into the world with you. That was it. Test the spirit. This is not for everybody, but this is for somebody. This is for a select. You know if this is for you. And if you don't, take it back to the Lord. He'll confirm it. But I'm telling you, I'm speaking to you truth. I'm telling you, he is speaking truth through a willing vessel. All right. So the Lord is saying... There are going to be mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, cousins, aunties, neighbors, friends that are going to try to pop up once the glory of the Lord is seen for all to see through your life. Once the manifestations of your breakthrough and your blessings and your abundance is seen, they're going to try to skate their way in. And the Holy Spirit is saying he's told you what to do. Keep the door shut. In the mighty name of Jesus. I love y'all. I pray this bless whoever it was for. Again, it's not for everybody. Um, so test the spirit. If it's not for you, it's okay. But please don't get in the way of it being for somebody else. Okay? There is somebody else who needed this word. Um, Yeah. I love y'all. I love you. Everything you need is in the description box to sew, to email, to book a coaching session. Everything you need is in the description box. I love you. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.